Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be quick and easy. I'm gonna be uninstalling this old bathroom vanity faucet and I'm going to replace it with a new one. Now as part of this project, my main reason for uninstalling it is I'm going to refinish this cultured marble countertop and so I need that faucet out of the way to do that. And then I wanna replace it because I'm not particularly fond of gold fixtures in my bathroom. So I'm gonna update it to a new style. So to start with, we're gonna go underneath the sink. So I've already removed my cabinet door so I have better access. And what I wanna to do to begin with is I'm gonna turn off the water supply down here. Now you can either have your water running when you do this so that you know that the cold water line and your hot water line is officially off, or you can just turn them off and then check the faucet and make sure that the water is off. You always wanna make sure that water is off before you attempt to remove these water lines because the last thing you wanna do is find out that you didn't turn these all the way and you still have pressurized water in these lines because that's gonna to start to come out really fast and that's gonna make a mess underneath. At this point, there's basically three things that need to happen and they can happen in whichever order you like. So at some point, you're gonna have to detach the water lines either from here or from up at where it's connected to the sink. We also need to remove this. This controls the drain plug. So when you pull up on your handle to plug the drain, that's what is mechanically controlling it. And then the last thing you need to do is you need to get back in here and those nuts are what help hold the sink faucet to the sink itself. So those have to be undone. Now you can do this in whichever order you like. So I'm going to start with the drain plug mechanism because it's right here. This metal clip, if you just squeeze it, it will allow you to move it back and forth. So I'm going to push it back until it comes off the end. There's the clip. Get it out of my way. There's the mechanism. And I'm gonna remove the clip. All right, that's done. Next, I'm choosing to loosen these up. So I used some pliers, loosen them up already, and now I'm gonna spin them free so that I've got more movement out of the faucet up top. Okay, now I need to attach my water lines from the faucet. If you intend to replace these, then you're also gonna have to detach them from the water valves where you shut it off. So that's up to you if you wanna replace them. I think these are fine and I'm gonna leave them on. So I'm just gonna attach them from up top. Once you get the nut loose, you should be able to do it by hand and then you can just let it fall down. Now, right now, there's still some water in this line because that's just gonna happen when you turn the water off, you're still gonna have a little bit of water in the lines. So it's still kind of stuck in there. And as soon as I pull it out, we're gonna have a little bit of water fall out. So you can have a bucket underneath. Let's see what it gives. There. All right, and now just pull it out. And there we go. Now we can remove the faucet. There we go. Now that my faucet's out, what I need to do is I need to get the uh, drain detached from here. Uh, part of that is because I wanna remove the golden portion of the drain plug up top. And then also because I'm gonna be refinishing the countertop like I talked about earlier in the video, um, I need this out of here so that there's nothing in the sink when I do that refinishing job. So I'm gonna have to detach this area to get it off. I'm gonna start down here. I'm going to loosen this up, get it out of the way so that I can then loosen this part of the P-trap and get it removed, which will give me access to all these. Now you definitely want a bucket on hand when you do this because the P-trap tends to have some dirty water sitting in it. That's just how it works. And it's gonna be a little bit nasty. Give that a second and let it drain. I'm gonna put this back on now that I've got it off because I've got it out of the way. And what I wanna do, it's not that it's back on, I'm gonna shove a rag in there because the whole point of this is prevent sewer gases from coming up. So I don't want that to have any sewer gas now come up the line and be able to escape into my bathroom. And we're just gonna leave it just like that 
Okay, now I can get the rest of it off. Let's just pull down. There we go. Now I should be able to get this one off. Okay, well, I might have broke the uh, piece of plastic getting it out of there. It's not a, not a huge deal though, because as we can see, that piece of plastic was attached to the uh, gold ring, so it's gotta go anyway. But um, yeah, I try not to break yours, especially if you intend to keep yours and not replace it. If you're just gonna remove it to refinish your countertop like I'm gonna do, then you don't want to break yours. But uh, for me, it's not a big deal, so. As you can see, I finished doing the makeover on my bathroom vanity, so I'm now ready to install my new faucet. So we're going to start with applying silicone to the bottom side of the new drain flange. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the silicone open. I'm just going to squeeze out a bead of it all around. And now I'm ready to attach it to the drain. So I'm gonna take my new drain and what I wanna start with is I wanna make sure the nut and the gasket are all the way down. And then I'm gonna stick it in with this side facing towards the faucet. And now I'm going to take my flange, set it on there, and we're going to screw it on place. Okay, now I'm gonna work from the underside. Okay, now working from down below, gonna tighten this up. All right, now that I got it hand tight, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off wrench. And after you finish tightening it down, if you get any excess silicone caulk that comes uh, squeezing out from the edges here, you want to wipe that up real fast so that it doesn't dry on there. Okay, next we're going to be assembling three different things. So we have the stopper. We want, there we go. We have a stopper and it's going to have this side face towards the back of the sink. So when we drop it into the drain hole, we want that facing towards the back. And then we're gonna take this rod with this ball on the end. We'll insert it through the pivot opening on the back. It will interact with the stopper. The ball will sit in the pivot joint and then this pivot nut will come on, tighten down and that will retain it. So here we go, we have the stopper again, facing towards the back, drop it in there. Now this will be a little bit difficult to see, but from underneath, I'm gonna crawl in here. I'm going to insert the pivot into the hole. There we go. Oh, I can hear it interacting. Now I'm going to take my pivot nut and tighten it down. And this only has to be hand tight. Now I'm going to double check from above that I am interacting with it. Next, I'm gonna attach this strap to the metal rod, and I'm gonna choose the middle hole here, and just slide it on there, and then take this metal clip, squeeze it together, slide it through the, the holes in it, and that's it. And it'll retain it. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna drop the faucet into the holes. So it came with its own like silicone gasket here, so we're gonna drop this, oops, wrong way. All right, we're gonna slide this on. It does have an arrow that says front, so put that on there. 
drop that into place. Now we're gonna take the stopper rod and we're gonna drop it through the back. And then go back underneath the sink and finish our connections. All right, so back underneath the sink. So I got the faucet dropped in. I haven't hooked up the plunger rod, but what I'm gonna do now is take the nuts and put them on here to secure the faucet to the sink so it can't move on me. There we go, one's going. This is kind of difficult one-handed. Was off but I'm gonna do it about holding the camera. Okay with the faucet secured in place I am now going to attach the strap here to the plunger control. So I'm actually gonna take this off first. I'm gonna feed it through the hole. I'm going to attach it to the end. I can get back on here we'll see. There we go. Retain it again for now and tighten down the screw to retain the plunger. Actually, yeah, it's on. All right, now let's test it from above. Okay, my next step here is to connect my water supply line. So I'm gonna put some plumber's tape around the connections up here and then get my supply line in the hole and then bring up the nuts and secure it down. All right, so last connection here. Okay, now I'll come back and tighten this up with the wrench. All right, last step is to reconnect my drain to the P-trap. So I'm going to actually remove the P-trap from here. reason for that is that I can't get this on in this on, so I'm going to shove this on there first. Send that on up. There we go. And now connect the P-trap again. Okay, that's good. Bring this down. And there we go, everything's reconnected. And now the moment of truth, let's see if those water lines were tight enough, we're gonna turn them on. All right, dry, all dry, so for now, Looks like we're good, no leaks. Okay guys, the faucet installation is complete and I have no leaks, which is always important when dealing with water. So this is a very easy process. I highly recommend doing it yourself. You do not need to call a plumber. You just need a couple of tools and about 30 minutes to an hour of your time, depending on your skill level and how much experience you have with plumbing. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and the bell so you know when our new videos are out. And we'll see you next time on the DIY Grunt.